Welcome back to the lineup review, and I'm today here with Sen Everson, and we are checking out his ship, which has somehow managed to make it into the small category, which is up to 150 meters. So, first of all, what's the name of this ship, Sen? This is the Manticore class frigate of the Ultima Fleet. It's beautiful. It's a really, really nice detailing all over the place. You've got negative space. You've got uh, what I would call negative shelling. You've got struts, you've got ribbing, you've got grilling. <laughs> you've even got the 45 at 45 in a few places. You've been using Pentatetra for a lot of the faces. Really nice use of lighting as well. Oh, hang on. Now that's a neat trick. It actually still casts the light somehow. Very well done there. Uh, let's just looking around here. Just taking a look at Sen Everson's ship. What's the name of the ship again? The Manticore class frigate. The Manticore class frigate. And uh, like I say, it's got some really nice detailing on it. The turrets as well don't look like they're they don't they don't stick out, which is something I look for in people with turrets. <laughs> um, I think it makes all the difference when turrets don't seem uh, out of place, you know. Uh, taking a quick look at the engines before we go inside now. So just having a look at the back, got some really nice detailing styles with your wedging and grill there. Uh, interesting plate coming out the back as well. I don't know, uh, it's interesting, but I like it. Um, this is this casing plate that goes around your engines. It's really beautiful. Nice choice with the lava. Got a really intricate poly on the actual thruster casing, uh, you know. Nice shield, I take it that's like a faction emblem. Uh, the blue one, that is the Factor Emblem, yes. Yeah, awesome. I'd love to see that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna and dip the inside. black one up front is for uh, actual commanders or admirals in a fleet. They'll have their own crests and they put on their sheets so, on cool. their fleet so you know what they're doing. Nice. So I'll go and have a look at that in a sec. So I'm just going to come in the back door, up the ramp, and into the main room. Main room's got logic blocks everywhere, I take it, to actually operate the doors. Uh, yes, until we, if we get wedge doors, then I'll take those out, but for now. What? Yeah, 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 that's, I understand that, that's cool. Uh, we've got a medical center, maybe a cookery, cookery type deal. Have you used the thrusters to grill food? I like that. That's awesome. So what else have we got? We go down the stairs. We've got two rooms. So one is going outside. Yep, yeah, two airlocks. And a well, I don't know what this forward section is actually. Is this storage? This forward section is the uh, power supply for the weapons. Oh, it's power supply, of course. And then we come up to the front. We've got a really nice big blue conduit coming through here. And then this is as far as I can go in astro mode. I think, yeah, it is. And then there, that's weaponry. I understand. Okay. Ooh, like Jeffrey's tubes. I just like them. <laughs> okay, so if we go up one, where were we? Down, along. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was another door. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, yeah. And this, like, must go. Oh! What the heck is this? So you've got some doors that just sort of go down. Oh right, it's the entrance to the bridge. Amazing. Ooh, nice chairs, buddy. Oh yes, yeah, see that's the first chair design I've seen tonight, and it is different because he's using corners. Look at that. He's using corners and tetras. With a few wedges for the back. So a corner tetra arm is a really interesting choice. But it's it's about right, you know, you can stand there, you've got your chair, you've got your arms. Yeah, it's very nice. It looks good when you're in front. Very nice. You've got your camera guy, so pilot. Oh, oh wow, interesting view. Yeah, for the front seat, that was going to be the uh, pilot, and it's trying to make a kind of black view screens that would be around him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see what you were going for. It makes sense. He's got like a 360 degree bubble. He's in there. It's pretty cool. A nice bright screen here for the crystal. 
Yeah, that always works. And then I like what you've done in the roof there. Captain's got a heads up screen. Like yeah. a status monitor. It's really cool. It's one of the Captain's gotta have a screen too. It's like the most unique feature. I might have to steal that for my own ship because I like that a lot. That's really cool. Go ahead, I'd like to see it in other places too. Captain's heads up display, but full on screen. You know, not just some little box. Because I have a little he little box next to mine, but it's sort of on the left. So I'm thinking, that is kind of cool, man. And you've given me an idea to use some green screen. Ha ha ha! Could use some green hull. Oh, chroma. So yeah, that's awesome. Green, very nice. Okay, huh? So let's take another little look around this one more time. So what is the name of that ship one more time, my friend? This is the Metacore class frigate. And you are? Sen Epperson. Excellent. Like I say, this is probably the most detailed ship that we've seen so far, and you definitely used all of the space. Uh, yeah. but, it, but it doesn't look like a box though, okay? Don't take me wrong. It's not... If it was really tall, I'd be like, oh yeah, but no. It's a very nice ship proportion. So it's just coincidence that you happen to be right on the chop off, isn't it, really? Yeah, I built this a while ago. And to be fair, I think it's clever to build things under 150 because you get a buff to turning speed. You know, so it's sort of like, why wouldn't you? But there you go. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful ship. Thanks for bringing it along. Thanks to everybody watching, and I'll see you all next time. Do you want to take it to fly off? Yeah, you know you do. Off he goes.